What up, everybody? It's me, Mr. Brad, here with another deck profile to give y'all that chaos and mayhem that you call fight fighting areas. I was asked by Constantinus uh, or Constantinos. I do apologize if I messed up your name, oh boy. Um, but yeah, he requested this profile, so here it is. Uh, we're running Kuroko because she, at the, at the time of my testing this um, and playing it in the shop tournament, uh, Kuroko really put in the pressure as she always does, uh, boosting the attack on, you know, behind whatever. Uh, if you want to run multiples of her, never been a bad idea. Uh, come across her. Uh, but anyway, attack hits the Vanguard, Soul Blast 1, kill up the two cards in the bind zone. Um, this deck I formulated around, again, Kuroko and keeping her on the field or him on the field and uh, causing my opponent to overguard. Um, so this deck I kind of revolved around the nine shuriken or not, uh, eight, not excuse me, nine crits. So Narui in the soul plus five draw card, Tobihiko and Sami Dade for again uh, nine crit. Then three draw to get necessary cards like the limit break enabler, uh, stride fodder to get sure new in hand, uh, and anything else we need. And of course, four heal trigger because G Guardians and healing helps you stay alive, of course. Uh, for the ones, got four of the uh, Katsura Gitsune Stride Fodder. Got to have a met for because you don't want to stay on the break ride at all because the break ride is just an 11k vanilla until you can break ride over it. Uh, getting to Shirinui is that's pretty much what you want it for. <clears throat> Three, uh, was it Kusa Kazuki, the limit break enabler? Again, if I'm uh, early, if I'm early game, if I get to go first and I'm on the break ride and I didn't get pushed to uh, you know four damage, then break ride over break ride or Shiranui, and then stride. So that's uh, two cards out of hand and then uh, two cards in bind zone. So that's four cards. Uh, out of my opponent's, you know, uh, possession. Three, Fuki, because again, getting cards out of my opponent's hand uh, early game because of Kuroko. It's also a thing you uh, ride Tamahagane, call Fuki, use Fuki skill in the soul. So now you have even more soul fodder for, for Kuroko's skill. Uh, not to mention that again causes overguarding because of our grade two lineup. And of course, four, uh, Kurenai, the counter charge PG, instead of uh, Arama Tatabi, the after image PG. Uh, what I would have changed is to cut Miyabi down to three instead of four. Uh, she's the Amber Clone. She's boosted and attacking the Vanguard, counter blast one. Um, if you have less cost than your opponent, following the law. Uh, you choose a card from your opponent's hand, bind it face down. She gets a plus three, so if she's boosted by a 5k, that's still pushing a, a 10k shield out of your opponent's hand. The only problem with this deck is it doesn't really push numbers like the after image build with the stand trigger. Um, and um, so, yeah, uh, so we got four Tamahagane. He is the must ride grade two uh, at any situation uh, I, I enjoy him at four because sometimes I don't want to overuse my counter blast so to buy something out of my all my points field um, so he's always there and you know if I had an avatar that's what it would look like and I will boost up a get to model to four uh, again with the pressure of Kuroko a get to maru um, call out two of those in Kuroko your opponent is constantly guarding if they especially want those two cards or one card or whatever um, it is very deadly against Gear Chronicle uh, binding their starter early and being able to kill it off so they don't start getting off their shenanigans uh, it's happened um, before and you know, a get tomorrow also affects their bind zone that they can't get back. So it's like, oh, well, you got stuff over there. I can kill off. Um, like I said, this is mainly a break ride stride deck. So we have four of 
Kuji Kitty Congo. Again, you break right over it with another grade three of any new time of choice. Gets plus 10,000. Your opponent has to discard a card and buy the card from the hand face down of their choosing. Um, it doesn't have any other restrictions as of they have to have less cards, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what I may have, you know, what I may try in the future is uh, either Yozakara Kongo or Kabuki Kongo with the Limit Break Enabler because if I got to go first and I get one of those two, I swing and kind of last one, bind that field face up, 10,000 bonus. They would have to drop a PG um, or... Yozaka the Congo, four more cards in hand, kind of blast one. You discard two, you bind two from their hand face down. They have three at most cards to guard with uh, in most cases. If not, it is what it is. Uh, and of course, the main man of the deck, Shiranui, GB2. If you have less cards than your, than your opponent when it attacks, plus five in the crit. Uh, it's main skill when you stride over it, count blast one. Your opponent has to discard a card of their choosing, and you choose something on their field to buy and face up. Uh, generally, you want to do that, um, especially with Kuroko or your after image cards. All right, so for my strides, uh, one, you know, it's a breeze because we don't have Twitter run. Um, two of the Nubatama G Guard. Um, one dismal to protect Miyabi and one Scryu. Couldn't find this before the tournament, but this was sorely needed uh, because of the extra guard I needed uh, against Thavis, uh because of their, you know, restanding this plus 10,000 land bros turn and so on and so forth. Uh, I was recommended this card, uh, Zara, Zara Meira Khan. Uh, very good card. Um, you can run it at more than just one. I run it at one uh, on hit. You get to choose a card from your opponent's hand and bind it face down. If you have three or more after image units on the field, then your opponent has to uh, choose something in their bind zone and send it to the drop zone. So with this, uh, you would use its skill and combo with Kuroko. Um, the attack hit, so you would trick, uh, trick his skill off first. Binding a card face down, assuming you have more cards in their bind zone. So blasting one with Kuroko, and there's more cards. Um, and you get to, of course, like I said, choose with Kuroko skill. Running three, get Asuda Khan on hit. They have to discard a card. So they PG. There's two cards out of hand. That's fine. Uh, if they overguard, again, that's all fine. That is the point of his effect is to make them discard cards prior to even taking damage. But um, running one Gaun Rakan to field wipe your opponent on riding, your opponent uh, binds three units face up to three units face up. If three units were bound by the, you know, bound period, uh, your opponent has to kill off two to three that they bound. Um, the thing is, it's like it's all—it's really only good when they have a full field, uh, or at least five units. Running one, Joru, yeah, <laughs> Joru, Rirakan. Uh, it's good for when you're on the break ride, specifically because it is a Shiro Stealth Dragon. Uh, it's a permanent kill off. You don't have to use Kuroko skill. Um, you kill off two cards for two counter blasts, but it's like that's kind of it's kind of hefty in a counter blast heavy deck ish with uh, Miyabi and um, Shirinui and so on and so forth. And speaking of counter blasts, uh, Sukumorakon would definitely keep. I would if I were to recommend anything, getting him at two, um, no no more than two. Because he's rather expensive now because of new Batama hype. Uh, Counter Blast 2, flip up something in your G zone, GB2, procs off. Um, your opponent keeps four cards in hand, bind the rest face down, no matter what. That is a fantastic card effect, especially with Kuroko. Um, if they have, you know, seven cards in hand, that's probably when I would do it. 
uh, because you're killing off more than that. Not to mention, if you have the Count of Blast to spare, share a new skill, they have three cards and left, then you start, uh, if you you know have any other way to kill off cards like uh, with Kama Jagusa, the after image starter, then you get to use Fuki skill, then they have two cards left in hand to guard with uh, because of his errata of three or more in hand. Uh, and then we have, of course, the big badass Otago Lord. Um, he's a pretty decent finisher, swinging at your opponent, kind of blast one persona flip. Your opponent bounces a card from their hand face down. If they have three or less cards, of course, he gets a crit, and that is that. Uh, again, Hope y'all like the deck profile. I'm always messing around with Nubatama with the current support that it has. There's many ways to build it, but you know, there's only so many ways. Hopefully this helped y'all. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. And what you guys would like to see next on my channel.